52 videos in 52 weeks, from $50 a month to $8,000 a month. Same person, same channel, different system. Everything I already had, notes, frameworks, examples, finally connected in one place. That's what made weekly uploads possible instead of impossible. Let me show you my workflow. By the end, you'll see exactly how to build a system that makes consistency possible instead of punishing. You probably have documents in different places, research in browser tabs, notes scattered everywhere. Maybe you've even grabbed some of my worksheets before, but every single video still feels like starting from scratch. There's too much to do, too much to hold in your head at one time, and every video you watch gives you another idea, another plate to spin. When I started making videos for this channel, I had no idea what I was doing. When you don't have a system, you make the same mistakes over and over again. One of my early videos, I literally copied a transcript from Ed Lawrence and just said the same thing again, but different. And I didn't realize how bad I screwed up until weeks later. I had to unlist it. And recently I felt the need to make a video apologizing to him. Another time I made a video called Making Great Content Isn't Enough. And the thumbnail said, your ideas suck. And I tried to pull off this tough love thing and it's completely counter to my actual personality. I couldn't articulate it back then, but now I realize I'm naturally encouraging. That forced harsh tone just doesn't work for me. And this is why every video feels exhausting. You're rebuilding the wheel every single time. I was fumbling around in the dark until I mapped out the space by stubbing my toes a hundred times. And here's what I finally understood. That scatter workflow wasn't just inefficient, it was crushing me mentally. Every time I sat down to create, I had to build everything from memory again. That cognitive load made me question if I even knew what I was doing. And this is critical. The system didn't just save me time, it saved me from quitting. I tried everything, downloaded templates, set up elaborate Notion workspaces, tried different productivity systems, and nothing stuck because I was trying to force someone else's way of thinking onto my brain. And then I realized something. I didn't need a different system. I just needed everything I already had, all of those notes, all of those examples, all those frameworks connected in one place where I could actually use them. And that's where today's sponsor comes in, Poppy AI. This tool genuinely transformed how I work. And if you wanna check it out, there's a $25 off coupon code in the description. This is my board right now in Poppy. You're seeing four main sections here. One for titles and ideas, another for thumbnails, one for video analysis, and the final one for scripting. Each one is handling a different part of the process. I'm gonna show you how having all of this connected makes creating content so much easier. I've built documents that act as guardrails for each parts of this process, from audience analysis, proven title frameworks, a script blueprint, and more. You can join my newsletter and I will send them all to you for free. There is a link below for that as well. But before I show you the system in action, you need to understand the philosophy that makes it work. Without this next part, you'll just be organized chaos instead of scattered chaos. You just need to be good enough. And it doesn't sound like something you should strive for, but here's the thing. It took me over a year, past my year long hiatus, until I made a video called your content doesn't need to be perfect. And I challenged myself from idea to upload in 24 hours. That exercise broke through. I realized I can make something good enough in a day. Of course, I like spending more time on things, but when push comes to shove, I have that second gear. And here's what that taught me. There is one thing YouTube cares about more than anything else. Their entire business model is built on it. And to do that thing, you need to complete a chain of events. Let me show you what I mean by that chain. Think about it. When you're on your homepage, some thumbnails stick out like a sore thumb. And you might think that creator just doesn't get it. And you scroll right past. That's because their thumbnail wasn't good enough. You would probably never give that video a chance. It's not worth your time. And this is why one link kills your video because people bounce the moment something isn't good enough. What about titles that make you think, so what? There's no curiosity, no story, nothing interesting about it at all. That title wasn't good enough. But let's say you click on a video with an okay title and thumbnail. You start watching and they begin to describe what you're about to watch and it sounds like a chore or maybe it's not even the reason you clicked in the first place. It's not good enough. What if you make it past the hook and the next thing you hear is, welcome back to the channel, like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, leave a comment. Before they've even given you any value, they're already asking for favors. This is what I mean by a chain of events. You need each piece to be good enough so that you move to the next. When all of them work together, you achieve the thing YouTube cares about most, keeping people on the platform. And this is how you get through the valley of death, that period where you're making good content, but nobody's watching it. Most creators quit here because they think they're failing, but you're not failing, you're just in the valley. Every creator goes through it. Here's the hard truth that that good enough philosophy taught me. You're still going to make videos that flop after 20 hours of work. I still do, 
The difference is now I know that one video isn't the whole story. Good enough means each piece passes the bar so people can move to the next, but it doesn't guarantee virality. It guarantees that you stay in the game long enough to learn what works for your audience. And that's what actually matters. Your goal as a creator is to make content people genuinely want to watch, to get them to consider watching something else from you now or in the future. But you still need the golden key. Can you see this key behind me? I keep it in every video as a reminder. Consistency is the golden key to YouTube success. Making one great video is great, but you need to do it consistently over a long period of time to reach escape velocity. You build momentum through consistency. Consistency is like my white whale. I had no dreams of making a video a week for a year. That felt unobtainable. But YouTube doesn't reward perfection. It rewards consistency. Keeping that chain going week after week beats making one perfect video that burns you out in a month. And this is why the system matters. It makes consistency possible instead of punishing. I didn't set out to make 52 videos in a year. That felt unrealistic. It just happened because I put these systems in place. And you can do it too. So how do you actually juggle all of this without burning out? Let me show you exactly how the system works in practice. So titles, this is where most creators waste hours. Coming up with titles is one of those things that can take hours if you're starting from scratch. You're staring at a blank page, trying to remember what's worked before, what patterns you've seen, what your audience actually responds to. I used to second guess titles for days before eventually settling on one, and then I'd post it and realized it wasn't going to work. I had forgotten a detail or focused on the wrong thing. I needed something to remind me of all the things I care about. Here's a good example. If you're confused about the YouTube algorithm, watch this. This is the video that I made right after my breakout hit. And I felt so much pressure to follow up that success that I tried to do everything the same, speak to the same person, same thumbnail style, same script structure, just winging it. Probably had five different titles before settling on that one. And it flopped so hard, I was gutted. I was so focused on replicating what worked, I forgot to check if the title actually made sense for my audience. When you're second guessing every word, you lose sight of whether you're even solving the right problem. And this is what happens without a system. You're making the same mistakes because you have nothing to check them against. Luckily, the next two are great, but now if I had checked that video against my system, it would have came back with the obvious. When you check everything against your audience analysis, you know if a video is meant for them or not. And this is why having context matters. You're building on what works instead of guessing every single time. You're not starting from zero every week. Before I show you how the system changes this, let me paint a picture of what it used to look like. Hours hunting through old notes, tabs everywhere, wondering if I'm forgetting some crucial pattern I noticed three months ago. Now watch how this changes. When I start with section one, finding video ideas and locking in titles, this is where I used to waste hours. On the top left of the section, I have three example videos linked here. One from Nate Black, another April and Alter, and Jake Thomas. Below those is my idea validation checklist and a list of 750 plus title frameworks. Everything's connected. And instead of starting from scratch, I can have all of those frameworks linked to an AI chat window right now. I generally have some potential titles from outlier videos on YouTube. I'm trying to see if they make sense for my audience. And if not, then I use Poppy here to either help me brainstorm a good title from core principles or based on one of my past videos that did well. I can reference how others structured similar concepts, checked what's worked for me in the past and validated against my audience. Everything I need is right here. No hunting through folders or tabs. And this is what I mean by connections. I'm not just collecting information, I'm building a web of context that makes every decision faster and better informed. Does this help my specific person with their specific problem? If no, then I reframe it and save it for later. And here's what that changed for me. I get much better results and feel way more confident. It saves me so much time that I used to spend second guessing. That's the difference. You're not rebuilding context every single time you sit down to work. You're stepping into a system that already knows what works for you. This same principle applies to every other section. Let me show you thumbnails next. So thumbnails, and I'll be honest with you about this one. Thumbnails are tough. I'm never fully confident in mine and I'm not sure that I ever will be. But here, this is a little bit different now. I have something that helps put my mind at ease. I've got example videos on the top left, videos about what makes a great thumbnail. Then I also have my thumbnail validation system with the principles I've learned and another text field with all my past thumbnails described, pasted from a previous chat. Having these descriptions helps me stay consistent with what's worked. I took the time to type out and describe every single one of my thumbnails and did a case study on what works and why for my channel. Lastly, my audience analysis and content from week five of my program when we did a deep dive into thumbnails. And here's why this matters. I recently made a video called Why Your YouTube Videos Die After 48 Hours. Normally I'd make one thumbnail, 
the one that I had planned, the one that I was comfortable with, and that I had hoped would work. And this time, I used my thumbnail validation system to generate a couple of other options. The system suggested things that I wouldn't have thought of on my own, and I wasn't confident in them. It's hard to get a good thumbnail suggestion from AI. I've tried before and it's usually missed the mark. So I still made the one that I had originally planned that felt safe, but I tested all three and here's what happened. One of the system suggestions did amazingly well. A large statistical difference, 10% better than the other two. But here's what matters. I would have never tried that style normally. I would have stuck with what I felt was safe and completely missed the mark. This video had 70% of people still watching after 30 seconds and 27% of them made it all the way to the end. For my channel, that's pretty darn good. And this is cool because the system caught something I would have missed. And that gives me hope that my videos can perform better than normal now that I have a system to create thumbnails that aren't just different text on the same layout. You don't need to be confident to be consistent. You just need a system that helps you see possibilities you'd miss on your own. If this system approach is starting to click for you, hit the like button. It tells YouTube that it's worth showing to other creators who need it too. Now I'm skipping section three here. That's my research section where I analyze what made other videos work. I paste in transcripts and comments and break down why something resonated, but walking through that whole process would make this video way too long. I'll show you where to find the complete workflow at the end of this video. Besides, this next part is so much cooler. This is where you really see the power of having everything connected. Let me show you scripting. So scripting, this is where you really get to see the power of this. This is where it gets impressive. Scripting used to be the most painful part of my process. The writing itself was fine. Gathering everything I needed was exhausting. I used to have all of my documents open in different tabs. Same with YouTube video tabs. I couldn't close any of them. I used them weekly. I had notes in Notion, transcripts of my coaching calls saved in a folder buried six layers deep. I'd spend 10 minutes copy and pasting everything every single time I had an idea. And I'd always wonder, am I forgetting something? Did I miss a framework? Is there an example I should be using? And this is why most creators burn out. The system is working against you instead of working for you. You're spending energy on organization instead of creation. Now here's what changed everything. Look at the difference now. Look at everything connected in my script section. In the left column, I have some videos breaking down the types of scripts that I like from George Blackman and Callaway. Example videos with good retention and my coaching call transcripts so that it can write in my voice. And in the middle, I have my audience analysis again, and then a doc that I put together with rules on how to use and incorporate call to actions in my videos. And then lastly is my script blueprint. And this is what makes the difference. Learning from what actually works, not what you think works. Everything that I need to write a script is in one place. No hunting, no contact switching, no wondering if I'm forgetting something. This is why I can write scripts faster now than I ever could before. So here's what you need if you wanna do this for yourself. At minimum, you need two things. A clear understanding of your target audience and the guardrails in the form of a scripting document. And I have worksheets for both of those. If you join my newsletter, I'll send them to you. It's where other serious creators go to figure this stuff out. There's a link below. But the more context you can give, the better. That's why I love Poppy. It's all there every single time I sit down to work. I'm not rebuilding the foundation. I'm just creating. Now let me show you why this compounds over time. This is my favorite part. These documents that I keep referencing, my title validation system, my script architecture, my thumbnail validation system, how do you think I built them? I used Poppy to make better documents for Poppy. I'd take what worked, what didn't, examples from coaching calls, feedback from students, and I'd use the same system to create better guardrails for myself. And this is why the system compounds. You're always improving the thing that helps you improve. Every video makes the next one easier. This is the reason I make videos like this. These documents took me years to build through trial and error, and you can just download them today. The system that I fumbled towards by stubbing my toe a hundred times, you can just set it up this week. This system is what got me from burnt out to 52 videos in a year, from $50 a month to $8,000 months. This is how I went from feeling trapped at a day job to making content consistently. But this next part is important. This doesn't make you blow up overnight. I'm 52 videos in, that's a year of weekly content. Some people hit escape velocity much faster and some slower, but the system is what made showing up every week possible instead of impossible. I was just focused on one step at a time when the system made it possible. It seriously leveled up my content game. Now let's talk about whether this is actually worth it for you. Poppy costs 400 bucks a year with no monthly option. That's a chunk of change. But when you math it out, it's about $33 a month. For me, I treat this like a business expense. It saves me hours every single week and I reinvest my channel earnings back to making better content. The time I save makes it worth it. But here's what I think it really comes down to. If 
about how your brain works. If you're visual like me, if seeing everything connected on one board just clicks for you, then this is pretty incredible. And if you've got stuff scattered across a dozen tabs right now and it's driving you nuts, consolidating it all here actually makes a difference. If you wanna try building a system like this, I've got a discount coupon code in the description that'll help. This system is what got me from burnt out to 52 videos in a year. But seeing my board isn't the same as actually building your own. You need the actual workflow, the step-by-step -step process I use every single week to make this all work. That video breaks down my exact six-step workflow with Poppy. How I went from burned out to weekly videos without the stress. You can just copy it.